a big wingman welcome to the wingman's path to positivity to raising your vibration and creating a life of your choosing every time i say it it brings a smile to my face and i am so happy and thankful that you are able to join me today and all us wingmates right to share a spark of positive energy because as i say every day the more of us that share that spark i have found the easier it is for each of us to bring more positive energy into our lives. And when we do, it automatically helps us to raise our vibration and start moving in the direction of creating a life of our choosing. So I'm thankful that you are here. My name is Michael Gross. I'm the lucky guy who gets to be the wingman on the wingman's path to positivity, if you haven't joined me before. And I am coming to you today right outside the University of Tasmania Marine and Arctic Building. Okay, right, whatever that means, right? It's a beautiful place to be, as you can see, the whole Tasman Sea is behind me. And anyway, I just wanted to say, I wanted to get right to the practice today. And the practice is, I am desireless, I am lacking nothing. Now this, when I talk about desirelessness, many people, it, it, that basically the word really comes from my Buddhist studies and many people from the West would say, what do you mean you're desireless? You have to have desires. You, you know, you want to have desires to keep you moving in that direction. Of course, we all have desires. What desirelessness means is that you don't, it, your desire doesn't control you. It's not like an addiction, right? It's a desire for something, but it's not an addiction. It doesn't control your life. Even, even Buddha had desires, right? But it doesn't mean he would let them control his life. So I want you to practice the vibration, though, of being desireless, of lacking for nothing, right? Now, many in the, you know, many in the coming from the world of law of attraction might also have a question with this because in law of attraction they would tell you not to use words negative words in your practices the word lack would mean you're sending out a word that the universe would say oh he wants more lack i will send him more reasons to feel lack right but i combine my buddhist study the wingman's path we combine our the wingman the buddhist my buddhist studies and my certifications in law of attraction and just our everyday life to practice bringing more joy into our lives and one of the things I started thinking about yesterday I read something on desirelessness and I started thinking about how that vibration to send out that vibration to be in that place for even just one minute would be a vibration worth sending out so I want you to imagine with me for one second that you are desireless for this moment you are lacking nothing you have health and love and money and joy and happiness and for just this one minute you are desirelessness now in the real world and in reality what happens is we we have a desire and we manifest it and then we come up with another desire right we come up with another desire but I want you to imagine for just one minute that you've just achieved a great desire, you've just achieved a great goal and manifested a great desire and you are feeling the love and you are healthy and loving and feeling the love and have all the money you need and you're doing exactly what you want and you've just achieved your goal and you're feeling fabulous. You are, at, for this moment, you have no other desires. You are just sitting there happy, full of joy. Breathe that in. Say it with me. I am desireless. I lack for nothing. I am lacking nothing. I am desireless. I am lacking nothing. <sighs> yeah, it feels pretty good, doesn't it? It feels very relaxing, very calming. You know, there's a great saying that your ship comes in over calm seas. That when we are calm, we enable our, our, our desires to come to us. As opposed to obviously when we're anxious and trying to get them to come to us and we're sending out a vibration of anxiety and worry, right? Today I'm having a great day. Jan and I are going up to Mount Wellington. We're taking a bus up there. You can hike up there and we're debating whether we're going to be hiking down, but I have a feeling I'm, we're going to take a bus down as well. It's supposed to be some fabulous views 20 minutes outside of Hobart. 
I desire to have a safe trip. But when I get up there for one minute, I'm going to be sending out a vibration. I'm going to practice for one minute. I'm going to say, I am desireless. I am lacking nothing. I am desireless. I am lacking nothing. I want you to feel that. Say that with me and feel that. Let's get that vibration going where we are lacking for, no for nothing. We have all we want right now, this moment. In this moment, we have manifested our desires. We're healthy, our kids are healthy, our families are healthy, we're feeling loved, we're feeling joyful, we have the, all the money we need. I want you to get that vibration going, that you are desireless. You know, Wayne Dyer uses the word desireless in a different way, because he, he says to be desireless, you first have to have a desire. And then you will achieve that desire or manifest that desire when you become desireless. That's a, that's a conversation for another day, a much longer conversation about practices I use to do that. But for today, I just want you and I and all us wingmates together to send out a vibration that we have everything we need, everything we want, everything we desire. We are desireless at this moment. We are lacking nothing. How's that feel? That might be one you, you say quietly to yourself and you breathe in, I am desireless. I am lacking nothing. Say it once more with me, I am desireless. And breathe that in, allow yourself to breathe that in. I thank you so much for joining me today and, and sharing a, a moment of positivity, a moment of bringing more positive energy, uh, practicing with me and all us wingmates today so that we may raise our vibration and start moving in the direction, or continue moving in the direction even better, of creating a life of our choosing. Have a wonderful day, one in which you get that feeling of desirelessness, that you are lacking nothing. You have all you desire. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Your wingman, Michael, from the Wingman's Path to Positivity here in Hobart, Tasmania, signing off.